<laughs> well, here we are again. Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartender Action. Alrighty. Let's see. Last we left off. Or when we last left off, I said that very strangely. Uh, we. Jill was going through a bit of a rough time. So. Alright, it is the 23rd. We have plenty for the electricity bill. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we read everything. Oh, I guess we didn't read this thing from the augmented. Yeah, we did. Alrighty. Time to go to work. Friday, December 23rd. Good evening. Ah, hey. How are you feeling? Lilum are soft and warm. <laughs> Come again? You heard me. So on a scale from very, very upset to just sad, where are you? Hmm. <laughs> Somewhere in the middle. I still hate myself, I'm still sad, but how to put it? The noise has stopped. Oh, well, at least that's something. Baby steps. Sort of, kind of. Ah! I accidentally hit, like, the, uh... I hit the task view on my, uh... Action bar at the bottom of my, uh... Wow, I suck at getting my words out right now. I hit the task view at the bottom of my action bar on my computer there, where all the icons go. So how were things last night? Cozy, I must admit. <laughs> oh man. I can't believe you paid Dorothy for that. Well, if you want to call that payment, I guess. Hmm? I called Dorothy to tell her what happened to you and she was really concerned. She stuttered for a second, saying that she'd had the whole night to go, and she just couldn't leave for free. I asked her how much, and she said enough to pay for this soda. I'm having is fine. How did you get her number? I have contacts. <laughs> oh man. Right. Anyways, Jill, if you need a second break, a drink, or even a hug, just let me know. You hear? Oh, that's nice. I'd make you the same offer, but I'm guessing hugs from me are the last thing you want. Why is that, exactly? If you need a bartender, let me know, though. Nice to know. Anyways, we have work to do. Yep. Oh yeah, we have heard that one before. Time to mix drinks and change lives. <laughs> it's nice to hear that again. Did you say something? Did I? Welcome to Val- oh, it's you guys. Hey, be more respectful, I brought my boss here. Their boss that has an eye patch. That is- I like where this is going. Aren't you a part-timer here or something? My other boss. You're talking to the great Nacho Tumbleweed Jr. Oh man. Boss, I'm taking my break. I know what I said earlier, but you haven't even started yet. <laughs> Every time the dogs come, she wants to leave. So what brings you here today? I wanted to see the place my best soldier is working at. Oh, that's nice. Soldier. Wait, aren't you the dog I served last Monday? Oh, it's you, Dana. Soldier, why didn't you tell me you were working for Dana? No, that's not Dana, that's just Jay. <laughs> so I'm guessing you're part of this whole Sira thing? Part of it? I founded it! <laughs> this is wonderful. I like this a lot. Humans have the best intentions, but they just don't get us. So I decided to create a place where dogs can be dogs. 
Here, we can take in any dog without a place in this world. Oh my god. This is Big Boss as a puppy. This is awesome. We created our own heaven on earth. <laughs> I love this. This is the best. And you only take corgis? Do I look like one of those? Cypher. <laughs> this is awesome. I'd include other animals, but sadly I can only take care of the animals that are the same species as I. Sad things. Sad thing is, I'd take him more seriously, but as a talking corgi with an eye patch. Will you get anything? I'm fine, what about you, boss? Manly stuff. You sure? Did I stutter? Alright. Alright, well. We he wants something manly, and Jill is saying we should also give him a bitter thing. Let's see. Suplex. Sounds good to me. Two, three. One, two, three. Alright, and do not forget the ice. Ta-da. Here you go. Yes, this is just what I wanted. Blah! Tastes worse than my butt. Ugh. Gross. Hey, you asked for it. This is a really nice place, you know? You picked a good place to work at, soldier. Thanks. Does he really get paid? <laughs> Your efforts to keep Sierra afloat will not go to waste. We'll make her better and better. I thought there was going to be a different adjective. I don't know why I flubbed up that word of all things. I mean, we're pretty much on the verge of closing. Can Boss really afford that? We have more urgent matters at hand, though, like the fact that we don't have enough balls for everyone. Can't they just share the ones we have? You fool. Every dog has the right to his own ball. If we can't provide even that, then what's the point of even trying? Wow. Wait, don't tell me she just doesn't care and is spending all of her money like water. I doubt it. Come on. I mean, with the bar closing and all of that. But many have enjoyed the boxes more than they do the balls. <laughs> of course they've enjoyed the boxes more. That's a good point. What do you think is cheaper, a box of balls or the boxes- or a box of boxes? Are there boxes of boxes? <laughs> this is my favorite thing. Of course there are, how do you think they ship boxes? <laughs> Tied together? Tied together? Don't be silly. Unless she's paying her straight from her pocket, boss is that kind of woman. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. This world is filled with all sorts of recursive madness, you know? Doctors consult doctors, boxes come in boxes, bottles come in bottles. Are you sure about that one? Ooh, as expected from you, boss. Wait, the theory only works assuming she's paying him with actual money. For all I know she might paying him with steak be paying him with steaks. So tomorrow you're gonna check for people selling boxes, you hear? <laughs> sir, yes sir. Except that to boss, a good steak is more valuable than money. Wait, what if they come with foil? Uh whatever. Had to be taken. That's okay, that's a name. Russian Truss had to be taken to the vet because he ate the foil. Ate the foil, a piece of cheese came in. Curses, you're right. We need a contingency plan. <laughs> Besides, boss is not one to scam people, let alone a dog. I wonder if we can strike a deal with the vet those cipher jerks have. It's always so nice with us, like Naomi? I know, her smile is so cute. And so it's better that we were that we vet for a vet? Yes, put that on the list. Ah, Nacho. Oh yeah, I forgot she knew the dog. Are you staying for a while? I was just passing by, I've got some errands to run. Great, Gil can go with you. I can. You will. <laughs> oh man. I still get paid for today, right? Hopefully. 
I don't see why not. That depends on Nacho's evaluation. Alright, Greenhorn, let's get going. <sighs> oh, I'm paying him anyways, by the way. I just wanted to mess around with him. <laughs> oh, man. No, that's not the problem here. Why make him do that? Gil looks like he needed to take a good break, and he's the kind just not to accept such a thing. But with Nacho, he'd have something to do, and he'd be away from the bar for a bit. When you put it that way... Anyway, I'm going back to my office. Your boss sure is nice. Glad I'm working for her, too. Yeah. So, you having anything? Actually, I'm just gonna go sit over there and be on standby. Await oh, orders. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot to ask, or I missed the chance to pay, or even if he gets paid with money. Oh, was Betty the weird, the one of them looked like the guy from the, uh, one, he looked like a really, I don't know. They came from the, they were associated with the Corgi people. Man, I sure need to get wasted. Yeah, it was these two, I remember them. I fail to see how getting wasted will make you feel Bathsheba! Oh, for God's sake, you piece of scrap. We just got out of a building full of dogs. But this one has a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses. Hey there, robot. And he talks! <sighs> Welcome to Valhalla. Hey, Jill. Get me a beer, will you? Gotcha. Does Dio want anything? Okay, roll. Sir, yes, sir. So cute. He's fine. Just a beer, then. Friday after work isn't just a beer, though. It's the beer. Can't argue with that. And let's, yeah, let's make her a big one, just for the fun of it. One, two, I should probably double these up before I forget to. Alrighty. There we go. Here, let's make it special. Yeah. Cheers. Hey Jill, do you like beer? The amount of beer cans in my apartment is becoming a problem, actually. I don't have a problem. <laughs> I had this friend back in high school who made some pretty nice crafts with them. I'm still in contract with him if you're interested. No thanks, the last thing I need right now is more stuff taking up space. So how are things up at Dogtown? Well, that Laura girl is stirring things up, for better or worse. For worse? She's, um, like a rabbit. An, overt, an overtly politically correct rabbit. Like, literally a rabbit? Or, like, is this just a, uh, comparison? Never had a pet rabbit? They're a nervous mess that gets startled over the littlest of things. Okay, so it is a metaphor. And this girl is on the constant lookout, scared of saying something that might irk someone. It doesn't have to be the person she's speaking with, even. It's no problem in the company, but the other day we went out together and oh, doctor. <laughs> Poor girl can't speak properly. She pauses every sentence to make sure she doesn't say something offensive. She's a nice girl and it's sweet that she tries so hard not to offend anyone. But seriously, she tries too hard. You don't help either. Hmm? You randomly yell, what did you say whenever she's within ear whenever she's within earshot distance? Yeah, well <laughs> her face when she's annoyed is funny too. It's just that she looks cute when she's startled. Okay, that's That's weird. Like a rabbit. It raises up the question of whether she's really like that. Or if you're the one making her wary of anything she says. Well, why don't we test that? How? You go out with her. Why? To test if it's really me who makes her like that. It's not like you can say no, you know? I mean, it's my honor that's on the line here. I want to prove you're talking... <laughs> yeah. I want to prove only you're only talking smack about me. Even if you were right, you have quite the fixation on that girl. 
She's fun. Fun how? She actually reacts when I tease her. I am the opposite of that way with most people. They go to harass me or heckle me, and I am severely underreactive. They say I'm boring. You take it in stride, but she actually gets startled, squirms, and then gets uncomfortable. How is that any good? She's cute and her reactions are cute. But if you keep it up, she'll either leave or get used to you. You know, like me. Ah, you're right. I must save my teasing for when the moment is just right then. <laughs> the diagonal mouth is something hilarious to me. No, that's not the problem. It is for me. And what are you doing here? What about the dog? He said he had to go out. By the way, he said his name was... Say, this Laurel girl, do you guys get along? It doesn't matter what his name is. I wouldn't know. We get along as co-workers at the very least. What kind of girl is she aside from the whole politically correct rabbit thing? Slow. Ouch. She's the kind that does things so carefully that she does them really, really slowly. Oh, okay. Really slowly. I can't deny that when she actually finishes stuff, she does a great job, but... It's unnerving. She doesn't actually have to be with us in the building, though. She's more like a freelancer. Why is she there, then? Because she likes dogs. And that's why I insist that you two would make a fine couple. That's a really superficial statement. It's like saying you'd be fine with someone because you're both women. Okay, bad example. May I say something? By all means. If the Laura girl is really as bland as you claim her to be, wouldn't she be better off with someone more, um, a more assertive person, Lilum, uh, a more assertive partner? <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's what... She's right, though. Sharing interests and being compatible are totally different things. But then you'd be underestimating the power of love. <laughs> I hope that's what they were referencing. Whether you want to admit it or not, love changes people for better for wor or for worse. Who knows, maybe you'll become more assertive after spending time with her. Or she'll drive me nuts. I guess that's a possibility too. Still, why are you so insistent on me and her getting together? Because she's like a cute rabbit, so someone try might try to eat her out there. It'd be a lot easier to keep her in my sight. So in short, your motherly instincts arose because of Laura? Why not see if she likes you, and you already tried to hit on her, didn't you? You make me sound like some kind of skirt chaser. <laughs> it's an interesting design choice to have her only have the one jacket. Or the one half of the jacket there. She's not into girls. How did you find out? I asked her directly. Of course you did. She seemed, um, giddy afterwards, though. <laughs> I heard her mutter something about meeting her first lesbian. <laughs> it was weird. Okay, enough Laura for the night. That... Refrain from using that when... You said last night jokes. Oh. Refrain from using any that's what you said last night jokes or variations thereof, please. Party pooper. Let's get a drink then. Sounds good. I'll have a bloom light, please. Get me a fringe weaver. Alrighty. I don't have I made a bloom light before? I don't recall. Maybe. I remember at least looking at one that was aged and iced, but I don't remember if it was this one. Oh yeah, it's so unnecessarily brown. And a fringe weaver. Good old one Adele hide and nine Carmel Shrine. For the funsies. <laughs>